One of the benefits of using subplots is that if you can figure out how to create a single plot, you can make many of the same kind by using a script. In this example, we'll show how to create multiple pie charts by using data from different rows in a pandas data frame. Let's start by reloading the state CO2 sector data. I'm showing the bottom of the table here. We see that there's a row that we don't want called total, so let's drop that from the table. I can use this total column to order them from the state with the highest CO2 emissions to the lowest, and I will do that using the sort values method with ascending equals false because I want them to go from highest to lowest. So here are the first five largest CO2 emitters. Now that I've completed the sorting, I don't actually want to include the total column because I'm going to create a pie chart from the first five columns here, and I don't want to include the total in that. So I'll drop the total column using this code here. I'm now ready to create my pie charts. I'm not going to hard code the number of states in the script, but rather I'm going to let the user decide how many states they want to plot and then I'll use the number of states that they input to determine the vertical size of the plot and also the number of state subplots to create. I'm going to use this subplots method, and it will create an axis object that has many axes in it that can be referenced using an index number like this. I will then iterate through all of the number of states that I said I wanted to include, and I will create a pie chart for that subplot using the row in my decreasing data frame, referring to the row using ILOP, since I will have an integer position number for the rows. For the labels of the sectors in the pie charts, I will use the columns from my data frame. For the titles, I will use the row label indices selected by the subplot number. Let's try it out. We can start with three, and here are the top three. The nice thing about this is that I could do any number up to the total number of states. Let's try increasing the number to five. Interesting, notice that California has a huge amount of transportation emissions. Florida, where people have a lot of air conditioners, has a lot of electric power, and Louisiana has an industrial sector that's very large, so quite interesting.